They tell you you're no good. We're gonna test Dunkin' Donuts versus a fancy hoity-toity coffee shop in Chicago. I don't really wanna bring up their name, but you can see their mug right over here. Here, we'll try to cover it up. Their latte should be much better than the Dunkin' Donuts latte, you would think. Why could it be? You might be wondering why we're out here doing an experiment. Believe it or not, the alternative is much worse. This is our life right now. The refrigerator over here had an oopsies. So now, Dunkin' Donuts donuts held up so well, you couldn't even tell the difference. B is Dunkin' and A and C are fancy. I'm pretty sure. No! Oh! I thought we were gonna be able to tell the difference between the last one, but I do still think we'll be able to tell a little bit of a difference between this. These were about the same cost, by the way, in the Dunkin', you get a little bit more. A little bigger. Yeah. Do this with three different cups is because it gives you about a 90% chance that this isn't 50. Right. If we had just given her a, a hey, we'll put fancy coffee in one and Dunkin' in another, that's a, it, it's a coin flip. She could have just guessed it and been lucky if she got it right or wrong. By doing this, eight different combinations of this coffee. So only one of them is gonna be the accurate one. We've got a third member of this party here now. Okay, so both of you are doing this. Do you mean Marley? Yes, of course <laughs> I meant the dog. Blinded by them pinstripes. Here, you taste A. Just a little sip. Not enough that you're gonna end up spitting it out or whatever. I know you're not even gonna like this. So let's not. So this uh, is a plain almond milk latte? Yes, from both places. Okay. Did you, what are your no, thoughts? No, I didn't, okay. I didn't have a sip. You didn't even get any yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's gonna are hate you afraid? both of them, isn't she? Don't, don't say anything. I don't wanna get it on my blindfold. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's A. No, no Taste A. Like that. Sorry. <laughs> I can't try them all again, can I? No. <laughs> well, that's actually an interesting, if you are already struggling with this, I think A and B are the fancy one, C is Duncan, and my favorite was B. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tasted A and B uh, themselves. Yeah. I thought I slightly liked B better. Okay. But then when I tasted C, I, I think, definitely liked B better. I think A and B is Duncan, and C is the other one. Which one was your favorite? Uh. Duncan! Duncan, you did it again. A and B were Duncan, and C was the fancy one. Can I try this again? Sure. Wait, that's what I guessed. You got it right. She got I it wrong. I did get it right. She's the one who I think think has underplayed or undervalued Duncan. Maybe. Mm -hmm. At your peril. This is crazy. I like Duncan. Duncan's killing it. A. You get sure this says A on it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, here we go. I think I got it. All right, do you want to write your guesses down? I don't even need to write guesses down, I think. Here's what I think. A and C are fancy and B is Duncan. And my favorite, it was probably B. You're correct. Flavorful? Sweet? Flavorful and sweet, maybe. I don't know, I, I just tasted gross. This one is, still has some nice foam on it. Versus Duncan has nothing. Oh, that's true. I mean, they're about the same age of coffee. Like, they're the same temperature. But yeah, you're right. It's Duncan is just kinda... looks like coffee and milk. But you still liked it better. Yeah, and so did you, right? You I did, actually. Huh. I didn't realize I'm becoming such a huge Duncan fan. Duncan! You know we should test now? How many calories are in the Duncan almond milk? I don't think you should do this. What is this called? The Brixometer? Brixometer. Brick's refractometer. We look through a prism, the light refracts through the prism, and it refracts more differently if there's sugar on the lens of the prism. So it, it basically is zero if it's just distilled water. All right, put some water. So if we put some water on it, it's all blue, right? See the little white light at the bottom is like the mm. zero mark. Okay. Cool, all right, okay. so let's put some Duncan on. You got a brick score of what? Five. A couple drops, just I gently. I look at it first. Okay, what do you got? Like one. Oh! Or two. One cup of serving of unsweetened almond milk should contain 40 calories and zero grams of sugar. Mm. Oh. Maybe Duncan is adding a little bit of sugar that's making us enjoy it more. Uh-oh, Duncan. <laughs> Why you dunking me, girl? 5% sugar in a Dunkin' Donuts large latte would turn into about 30 grams of sugar. And what do we say, about 20-ish grams? 20. 
we don't have the most accurate things going on here, but we're kind of magnitude correct. This website says they use Almond Breeze vanilla almond milk in Dunkin' Donuts. And they also say that has cane sugar in it. Yeah. It's like a huge discovery. I just assume that they're using unsweetened almond milk, but it sounds like you have to be really careful that different places and even like this Starbucks, I think, might not be using unsweetened almond milk either. Really? Yeah, because like it says us, Fitbit says that Starbucks latte, almond milk latte has seven grams of sugar. Oh. Okay, Duncan, you win on the flavor war, but a little bit too much sugar in this thing. 20 grams of sugar versus maybe four grams of sugar is the difference. That's, no wonder we like this one better. Duncan, I'm a little, it's so delicious though. It's really tasty.